This is Scott Dorner with Ops Systems. I'm going to be taking you through how to use our VOD manager with the uh, Hawk HQ40D portable instrument and the uh, Hawk LBOD uh, meter. The meter is a luminescent meter, which means that there are no membranes to ever change. It uses light, and uh, for people that are challenged with their ability to change membranes, like me, this uh, can save us considerable time and effort. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get into our BOD manager. I'm already in Ops SQL, and I'm going to load up a worksheet. I've already read my initials, so all I do is I come in here, and I click on this button here, and it shows me my open, my currently open BOD worksheets, and I want to run, I want to run my finals for last Monday. So I come in here, and I click on it. I already got my initial readings in. I've got my uh, calibration information when I ran the initials, and all I need to do is go ahead and click Read Hawk, go to Finals, and it connects up. And I click the green Read button on the Hawk instrument, and I click Take Reading here. When the reading stabilizes, it will be transferred into uh, the BOD Manager. And typed in the 5.16. Now notice right here, as I'm taking the reading, that it's telling me I'm on my dilution blank bottle, I mean my dilution blank sample, and I'm on bottle 429. And again, it takes that reading, and again, I'm going to move it to a new bottle. Now it tells me I'm on seed. I move my DO meter, I only have one bottle here. I move my DO meter to that bottle, click read again, click take reading, and we're off and running. Now again, I have a small example here just for the sake of time so you don't have to sit here and watch me do hundreds of these things. But you can automate the process of doing upwards of 100 bottles or whatever, and you're just going to move right down the list, just looking at the screen here, the sample name and the bottle number, which one you want to move to. So it tells me I should put it in bottle 831. I do. Click the Take Reading. And when it stabilizes, I get the reading. Now I'm on effluent. Click my take reading again. What's nice about this is obviously you'll get accurate readings from the device. But also using the BOD manager when we're done, standard methods criteria is going to be applied to all these tests, the dilution blank, uh, test will be verified. If you had a GGA test that you did, it's going to be verified. Right here it tells me the readings are complete. I click OK. Then I go up here and I click check and it comes in and it calculates the BOD for the seed was 104. The effluent BOD is calculated at 7. It did take into account a depletion by seed. It's got my calibration information now, both for my initial and for my final, that was transferred from the unit when we were taking the readings. It marked these bottles. These green lines mean these are invalid bottles. And what happens is, and this is obvious because I was using tap water, is my dilution blank dropped by more than uh, 0.2. In this case, it dropped uh, over 2 milligrams per liter, 2.01. And that's invalid according to standard methods. And again now, the BOD manager is going to analyze all those things against standard methods criteria. And we'll go look at that criteria setup to take a look at all the things that it checks. Basically, it's going to check that your initial DO is not greater than 9, that uh, the dilution blank water doesn't drop by more than 2.2. That's the one you saw. If you're running a GGA test, it's going to make sure that it's between 163 and 237. So the lab analyst doesn't have to do, go through and do the mundane work of checking all these things. Now, if we're in the state of Texas, we can even check off the coefficient of variation ones. That's if you're like running three bottles, you get a result of 5, 6, and 8,457. This coefficient of variation will throw that bottle out, but still calculate the uh, final BOD on the valid bottles. That's pretty much it. Thank you for your time.